It's match day six of the Legends Cricket Trophy 2024, with cutting edge competition forcing the teams to seek their winning combination. Tonight, the Candy Samp Army clash with the New York Superstar Strikers. The Strikers have been the team to watch out for as they dominate the points, along with many statistical tables of the league. The Candy Samp Army has the big names, but has been struggling with a win and a loss. It's a must win for them to stay in contention in the league. So get ready for another clash of the legends at the Palakele International Cricket Stadium in Sri Lanka. Hello, good evening and welcome to the Palakele International Cricket Stadium here in Sri Lanka for match number 11 of the Legends Cricket Trophy 2024. It is the Candy Samp Army who take on the New York Superstar Strikers. A little bit earlier on, we saw the Delhi Devils lose once more. They are naught from three and have lots of work to do. But tonight, the Strikers, they'll be hoping to keep their unbeaten record going as they are three from three. And the Samp Army, well, if they want to make those top two, which is the, the one the final will be made up of, they need a win here tonight. Plenty of big players on show here this evening. Chiminda Vass, the coach. And a little bit earlier, John Kent was downstairs with the two captains. And it was the New York Superstar Strikers who won the toss and decided that they would have a bat first. He's been a busy man, John Kent. He sits now alongside me. John, what about these two teams? Well, you think of the strikers, they've made so many changes every game. They made another five changes here, so they bring back Udana, Pradeep, as well as, uh, we have a look down that list there, Singh as well. Real Sharma comes back, so Thiramane. So they've made plenty of changes. Everyone's getting game time, which is real positive, considering they're winning every game pretty comfortably. Going across to Candy Samp Army. Finch is there. The Patan brothers are not in this side for this evening which is uh, obviously not the best for their team makeup, but they've had to call on Kevin O'Brien. He's been pretty good so far, as well as Tino Best and Pofu, who's been the standout seamer for them as well. Now three changes to that side. Now the surface is a little bit on the dry side. The batters haven't quite had it their own way here today. In match 10, it was difficulty one, difficult 130, played 131, and uh, I don't think it'll be any different here this evening, unless, of course, there's a little bit of dew that falls and maybe the ball comes on the bat a little bit earlier. I mentioned that John Kent was busy a little bit earlier. He was downstairs with Aaron Finch. Okay, no. Good bit of fielding. I'll tell you what, they've thrown themselves around in the field here today. matters at this stage? I would have batted first, but uh, I think we've seen the wicket getting slower That's and slower uh, as the game was the day goes once on. Once again, a good game, bit of feeling. Uh, and Dilshan, yeah, we'll back ourselves again, to going for that uh, deal and, uh, scoop. Obviously, this is a great time to get out in the middle again. How has your preparation it's been for the tournament in very, the last week or two? Very good effort. Yeah, it's been good. I mean, uh, Make sure been here in Sri Lanka again. they know how important a win here. Especially up here in Pelicali, which uh, a lot of us have got some great memories, so it's good to be back. And uh, changes for your side this evening? We've got a few changes. We've got three. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll roll that out soon. <laughs> All the best tonight. Thanks, mate. Cheers. A very fine player, Aaron Finch, the ex-Australian white ball captain. And another big player on show here tonight is uh, Yuvraj Singh, who played many a T20 international for India, and he too chatted to John Kent. Yuvraj has been a great campaign so far, unbeaten. How is the team feeling and how are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, we've been playing well. I think uh, everybody got a hit last game and I think at the moment things are going well for us and I think uh, you know we've been batting first and playing well so hopefully try and keep the same momentum unless Finchy gets me out <laughs> so jokes apart but just try and play normal cricket and try and qualify for the final. And obviously everyone getting some game time nice and early in the competition. That's obviously a plan you've got and I think quite importantly the seamers. So we're quite worried about some of the seamers getting through the, the whole competition. It's quite a lot of work on the body. Um, they're looking all right at the moment? I told them not to dive on the field. Take care of your bodies unless it's <laughs> necessary. But uh, at the moment everything is good 
and hopefully you know we can qualify for the finals all right i'm looking forward to seeing you roll the arm over at some point is that going to happen well if we have seven options of bowling if that doesn't work probably i'll be the eighth option <laughs> all right good luck tonight cheers wise advice from Yuvraj Singh to say to the fast bowlers, don't you dare dive on this uh, hard outfield. That's Paul Nixon there, uh, ex Leicestershire wicketkeeper. He's coached Leicestershire and now he's looking after the Samp Army. Tino Best. There he is, Nico. And I tell you what, he was a terrible person to play against, but a brilliant man to play with. He's the only man ever that I played with where the opposition could need one to win. They would have nine wickets in hand, a thousand balls remaining, and he would still believe that his team could win from there. He's ultra positive. And he would have to be a very good man manager to look after that man, because Tino Best, lovely man, but I tell you what, he gets very wound up uh, once he gets the ball in hand. The New York Strikers, they won the toss. They decided that they were going to bat first. That is the fourth time in four matches that they are going to bat first. And I don't need to tell you what the results were. Okay, I will. Three from three, they've won. They've been imperious. So there are a couple of rule changes. I say rule changes, it's because it's a new format that we're playing. 90 balls here, so just the 15 overs. The power play will be the first four overs, the first 24 balls. And then there is a batting power play which can be taken after 10 overs, after 60 balls. Any time after those 60 balls, the batters can opt to have that power play and then there'll be some fielding restrictions. Just three fielders are allowed outside that 30-yard circle. Our umpires are making their way out onto the field. They too will have to be told by the fielding captain if there is a bowler that is allowed to bowl four overs because one bowler is allowed to bowl four overs, 24 balls. Chandrika Amara Singer and Ranmo Martinez are our two standing umpires behind the television, Asanga Jayasuriya and our match referee, well, he's famous in these parts of the world, former Sri Lankan international Asoka De Silva. His job is just to make sure that the behaviors remain in check. Most of the men on show here over the last few days have matured and they've lost that little bit of a, a competitive edge. They still have a competitive edge, but they've lost that nastiness to them. And so I think the Soka de Silva will have a very, very pleasant two weeks here in Palakele. John, they've been brilliant, the strikers. Do you see a uh, an upset on the cards? Well, not really. I'm not seeing one, but saying that they fought back after losing their first game very, very well. And as you mentioned, Paul Nixon is in there in that team huddle. They're going to scrap here. They've lost two of their big name players. The Patans are not available for this game. And he is telling them, come on, boys, let's go. Shake it up here. Let's get moving. And that's it. They're probably laughing at him, saying, just chill down, Giza. Take it easy. But they need to win this game. As you said, one win here catapults them right into the upper half of the table. And makes the run-in to this round robin stage a lot easier if they can get a big win here. But this is a power pack team walking into bat now. They have informed players. Whoever has been brought in and left out and brought back again has been brilliant. Walton, Thiramana, Powell, Singh, Christian, they've all got runs more importantly and they bat deep they got Gunnar Ratna and De Granholm later on in the order as well so they've got a really deep batting order and for me it looks like they're a really balanced squad you know, Chadwick Walton he really got off to a flyer the other night when uh, his partner Lahiru Tiramana didn't get any but you can excuse him because in their opening game their second game, excuse me, he got 90. We were willing him on to get 100 to Rimana, but he fell short. That strike rate of 118, many might think, well, that's that's not up there with the best of the best, but his innings of 90 certainly was. Ricardo Powell is down to come in at number three, another power hitter, and we don't need to talk about Yuvraj. What about this Camp Sampani? What about their bowling attack? Kristen Porfother from Zimbabwe. Tino Best from the West Indies. John Russ Jagasar, who
who is the off spinner also from the Caribbean, Shabazz Nadim. Another spinner. And for the first time that I can remember, we're going to have the first over bowled with spin, which is an indication that this surface is one that the captains feel is slightly slow and dry. I like the way they're thinking. The matchups important early on. Walking in, expecting a bit of pace on the ball and knocking it around. That's what your mindset is like. And as an opening batter, as you'll know when there's a bit of a change up. Got to adapt. Is it going to turn from ball one? Is it going to skid on? That's always the tricky part facing the new ball and spin. But the fielders they posted on the boundary seem to be two on the onside at the moment. So only allow two in the first four out of the ring. So long on and a deep square, deep mid wicket, I should say. And the ring on the offside, tight ring on the offside. So let's see how this new ball spin pans out for Sam Palmy. Super ball, like super. Tiruman is immediately off strike, and I think that Shabazz Nadim will be happy about that because he doesn't want to be bowling many balls to the left handed Tiruman who would look to get on bended knee and maybe sweep towards the square leg Next boundary. Up. This would be his preference to bowl to the right hander if there is some turn here for him because Walton will look to get on with it. Again, both boundary fielders are on the leg side. Long on and a deep mid wicket. What a way to start. He has started where he left off. He bowled the left arm seam up delivery and that swung quite nicely and that was actually an exceptional shot. Look at the seam position. He held in swinger. And that is not an easy shot to play. First up as well. He's not holding back at all. I want to take the initiative here in the first over already. There it just grips, grips and holds. So Walton, 73 runs, 32 deliveries against Punjab Royal. So he can clout it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, you know, he's, he's an exceptional bowler, and just the flat, the energy he's got on the ball as well. Been down in this beautiful Super uh, Super International Stadium, and during the night, what a view we've seen all easy one, easy boy. Come on, lads. the rivers around the ground, the mountains as well. Now the key here is the length. He doesn't want to get it too full, he doesn't want to get it that test match length because you'll go back over your head. You almost want to bowl a length which encourages the batters to play across the line. Now, Tiramana eyeing out that leg side, particularly square of the wicket. Two perfect length. Just pushes him back. One run. That's a win. So the first six are done. Seven without loss. from Zimbabwe who Ben Dunk took a liking to the other evening of his first over but then he fought back very well and uh, he went for 23 runs in that first over but he's a scrapper they all are from Zimbabwe they don't give an inch but this is what he does he bowls around the wicket to the left hander which is really into the left hander's hitting zone but his protection is away on that leg side 
Mă a fost super vac, super vac, mă a Easy, easy, super vac. He's going to have to change up this plan now considerably <laughs> round the wicket bowling in swingers tucking up the left hander now to the right handed Walton who has really put the foot on the accelerator in all these power plays. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just a bit worried about the length of his pants there. I think he's taken a little bit too much off the bottom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh Christopher. <laughs> We saw this from Dilshan in the previous game when he played a player of the match innings for uh, his team, the Punjab Royals. Just the first couple of overs, he just had a look, just wanted to get a feel of the surface, and then he exploded. Two sides just feeling each other out at the moment, just going it around a ball, pretty calm. I'm on a cup of coffee here as well. There's a cappuccino floating around. I'm in. It's lovely to have all the team owners around for their teams every night. It's been a great turnout and a lot of celebrities on show. Now that shot is an indication of the type of surface they find themselves on at the moment. It just doesn't arrive. You know, it's a length and a line that Walton's hoping he can just allow the ball to come to him and he can punch it off the back foot through cover. But it doesn't get to him and finds the inside half of the bat. Polf has started well here. He started very well. Just a couple of swings and misses and just coming to terms with this wicket as you say. You're going to have to make some adjustments in his game plan here really. It's tough to really just stand and swing freely. And see how he's got himself in those first two games and then he really made it count against Punjab Royal. Oh, they're running hey, the first hey. hard, but they're going to turn it easy, down. Easy. That's a good set from Christopher and Porfu. 12 balls bowled, 10 without loss. Some big names on show here. Aaron Finch, Kevin O'Brien from Ireland, Tino Best from the West Indies. There's a whole heap that have made the journey from India. Shabazz Nadim, lovely left arm spinner. And for the strikers, well, Yuvraj Singh, what a superstar he's been. And Christian from Australia, Arcelo Gunaratna has really been arguably the pick of the bowlers in the whole competition with his little mix and match seamers. There's lots of leg spinners, there's off spinners, there's all sorts that he bowls and he's been brilliant to watch. Raul Shukla, just medium pace but a very lengthy run up. That'll shorten with age. Just as well it's not a day game, you'd be knackered after three balls. Oh, leg bars, four of them. And he's hurt in his line, and it's cost him. Leg bars, though. Walton. 
a look at his 70 against the Royal. He is a destructive player in the power play. What I like is he's so aggressive in his stroke play. There's no half measures when he plays these strokes. Absolutely smashes that poor little leather ball. Uh oh. Now we're going to have a free hit. No, 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 no. Walton's lost the strike, so it'll be Terry Minor that will be able to have a full go at this. But there's a little bit of nip about Raul Shukla. I know the graphic said right arm medium, but from up here it looks like it's right arm very fast. Free hit now. Terramane, he's on strike for this at the moment. You see his first couple of balls, the way it's swung. It's just going to swing across. Terramane, will he trouble a Yorker? Will he trouble a bouncer? What is his go-to option here? And they're bringing up third man. So if he bowls it with a bit of pace on it, it could go absolutely anywhere and go quickly, that's for sure. So he's running in hard. He's talking about the length of his run-up, but that last ball really did rush Walton. He's got to go pace off. Surely, if he goes pace on, he exposes that offside. He went pace on, but he went at middle and leg. Good length, well bowled. Got a bit about him, doesn't he, Shukla? Rahul Shukla, just 33 years of age, and was playing professional domestic T20 in India just last year, so not really out of the game yet. Aaron Finch is retired from all formats. That's a that is a shot. The sound that it made off the bat. That's what he does. He stands tall. He's got a strong base to hit from. The pace on it cross seam. So he's just trying to bowl it pretty straight, not trying to swing it in as he did earlier in the over. It's a minute, it's under the R line here. He absolutely smashes it back down the ground. gone again but he hasn't got it he hasn't got it and that is the end of Walton huge wicket powerful striker he's got to go oh. big shot I thought he had the distance as it came off the bat Stewart Oh, he's upset with himself there. He thought that was gone all the way. So, bright and breezy innings from Walton comes to an end. Strike is open up. He's got to go. 12 of 12, 22 for one. Yeah, that's a big wicket. He is a powerful striker. But so is this man, Ricardo Powell. I was just waiting for these strikers to slip up. But they do have a wonderful side. They bat such a long way down. Just from the bottom of the bat here, didn't he? That's right, right at the toe end there. He went cross seam, so well positioned. A little celebration to go along with it as well. So well judged catch in the deep, and that is a big blow. A dangerous player dismissed in the power play. Oh, out, 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 or down. No, Kevin O'Brien, such a safe pair of hands the Irishman has.
but this one has gone down. Oh, he had it covered. He got to it. A really good delivery. Powell trying to turn it on the onside and maybe a little bit slow in reacting, but his hands weren't even in a wonderful position to take the catch and I'd also be upset. Well, I think you can count the amount of catches that that man has put down on one hand over the course of his entire career. He's got a very safe pair of hands. What a shot. Kiriman has been watching from the other end, but now he contributes with a boundary. 18 balls gone, 27 for one. Strikers off to a good start. Yes, they've lost the wicket, but their run rate is at the moment on nine. Thirimana getting a boundary of the last ball, nine of six. Powell just in. Well, I'll tell you, Walton was looking very good. It was unfortunate to be caught on the boundary at mid wicket. Yes, but you've you've also got to say well done to the bowler to have the uh, the brevity, if you like, to bang it in short, set the trap. And now we're going to have the pace and the raw energy of Tino Best. He loves nothing more than being hostile. Right. See how he's hit the top of the bat with his extra pace and bounce. He's hit the top of that bat that uh, Ricardo Powell's got in his hands. This is, this is a good contest right here, Roshan. You've got Ricardo Powell, who loves to be aggressive, and Tino Best, two uh, of the best exports from the West Indies. There we are on the far right, that's Sonam Bajwa, Punjabi actress, who I've just met. He's not in control of this, it could be another wicket, it is! Go on! The catches have been taken, Jonathan Fu has taken the catch, all he had to do was wait there, and it was homing in on him. Thank you, thank you. Love the reaction of uh, Tino Best, there was pace, there was bounce, Powell was in control, he yeah, waited for it, eventually very safe, look at the reaction, look at the celebration. Oh, he loves it, he loves his wickets at every level he plays, so Ricardo Powell goes for one, 27 for two. Chamara Kapagedera is the uh, new bat. So we've got an all Sri Lankan batting alliance. And um, Tino Best, I would say this about Tino Best, it's not just that he looks after himself physically, but he's actually doing a degree in strength and conditioning. Uh, and he is the strength and conditioning coach for the St. Lucia Kings in the Caribbean Premier League. Chamara Kabadeya Kedera. Best of 96, not out. His strike rate is approaching 130. Oh, yes. We've got some heat. There's some heat from Tino Best. Well, Paul could handle the bounce and the pace. It was on to him very quickly. He was not in control, he was at the batter, had to play at it. He had two options, either you weave or duck or pull. Yeah, it was a well-directed bounce. It was dead straight, straight at the uh, chest. And uh, Powell had to play it and he didn't play it well enough. This might go for four. This has pinged off that bat. Whoa, he's used the pace of Tino Best. 
see that's a very good shot by Kapugendra using the pace as you said but one thing about Best is that he's been he's not a tall man so he skids on to you rather than really have that loopy bounce so when he gets that line right now that was just outside the Oscar Kapugendra played it well I love the ball to come close to him but talking about that bounce that is Miss Powell that didn't bounce as much because he is a skiddy customer He relishes the contest between bat and ball. It's gone cross seam here. Have a look at those fingers on the ball. The seam is right across his fingers. So the reason that you use a cross seam is that if the ball lands on the, the shiny side of the ball, it can skid through. If it hits the seam, it's got a chance of gripping the surface and getting a, a steeper angle of bounce. So that's why some of the quicks like Tino Best, they use a, the cross seam delivery. Let's just see how he holds the ball here. He, he doesn't hide it, some bowlers hide it, but he doesn't. It's cross seam again there. It's gone like a bullet and what a good catch just so carrier takes the catch it's gone like a bullet well that was hit with a lot of power and what a good catch that was he so, did extremely well yes yeah, so good Rosh, and so fierce was, was that hit that it it took carrier three or four yards backwards Game on this. Kapagedera has gone for four. It's 31 for three. And the end of the power play. It's the first time in this tournament that uh, a team has lost three wickets in the power play. And normally there's a high percentage when that happens, certainly in T20 cricket. Reminder, this is 15 overs, 90 balls as Colin de Grandholm from New Zealand comes in, that uh, the, it's a high percentage that when you lose three wickets in the power play in T20, you're on your way to losing the match. But uh, this is a different format. It's 90 balls. But Tino Best, boy, oh, he was at it then. He had fire, hostility and menace. End of the power play. So now, New York strikers would have to now let's take another look at this wicket we spoke about the cross seam which was very prevalent and seen there together went really hard and Korea took a good catch but it was hit with so much of power very nearly just took him off took his head off it's a Tino best he, he'll enjoy that over two for four from the Barbados man so Colin de Grande. Meanwhile, Lehru Kermana has been watching that from the non-striker's end. Had a failure in his last match, but before that he hit a sublime 90. Beautiful innings from uh, Kermana. Naveen Stewart. We've now got the fifth bowler being used in the first five overs. So, what are you up to, Aaron? Aaron Finch, your skipper. Very experienced captain, of course, Aaron Finch. Yeah, Aaron Finch, World Cup winning captain. In fact, Aaron Finch has captained not just Australia, but other teams um, 76 times in T20 cricket, more than anyone else. It's good stuff, this. A little bit of pace on, because and why it's a good ploy right now is that the strikers are three down. So, in a sense, they don't want to take too many risks at the moment while they've got to consolidate. 
they'll have to completely re re look at their plans at the moment at least for the next three to four overs because they cannot afford to lose wickets as regularly as this So that's a gift. That's for the ground home will be pleased getting off the mark. That was short and wide. But I think the Candy Sambami, they need to be tighter. Now that was a poor delivery, a cutter into the pitch. Look how wide that is. Yeah, it's been poorly delivered this. He's dragged his fingers down the side of the ball. It's short and wide. And an invitation to hit that boundary. No, 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 no. Five on the fence because we've had the uh, bowling power play. Uh. Yeah. Bold, well bold. Keeper's gone up. No one else has. There was definitely some pace and bounce there that beat the batter. Suddenly bounced, I tell you. Yeah, but no Nick. Nothing on that. Oh, that's too wide again from Stewart. He's got to learn that if you're going to bowl out there, you're going to be hit. Got to be, it has to be straighter. He's starting to release the pressure here. Just let Grant home another off cutter that has been pulled wide and short with no in fact there is a man at point so Grondholm is picking his gap quite well between deep cover and uh, deep third belted this to uh, long on that's an untidy over 10 from it 41 for three holding this together for the strikers remember these are the leaders who played 3-1-3 they're under the cosh here 41 for three Yuvraj still to come in he's kept himself back again Tino Best he's gonna have another over why not he's picked up two in his first There is some batting left for New York strikers because there is uh, the captain, there's Daniel Christian, there's also Arsene Le Gunrat. All of them could bat. Tino Best started off with a lot of aggression. The bouncer that had the power rushed him yeah! in the deep by Fu. And then, what a catch this was. It was hit with so much of power. And it's Karia who took that catch. So Best now has figures of two for five of seven deliveries. So his tail is up. UV's getting ready. Uvraj. No! No! <laughs> Teramane. He probably feels that he can't allow Tino Best to have it all his own way. UV, what a player over the years. Uvraj Singh. Yes. Leg stamp, Leg stamp. And you just see that over that he pasted Stuart Broad for those six sixes in the T20 World Cup down there in Durban. You watch it and you think, goodness me. And it was such clean hitting. Spends his time between India and the southeast of England these days, where he lives. Cool, that's a good shot. That is such a good stroke from Tiramane. 
Well, it tells you that he had so much of time to play that shot, and that's why he hit it in front. He was not hitting it behind square leg. Just look at this. Well, I think he was looking to roll his fingers, but still there was enough pace. And look at where Tirman is going. He's hitting it to mid-wicket, not behind square leg. So he saw the ball early, got into position, very well executed. Go back for a second. Tell you what, Tirimana chose to retire at the wrong time, I believe, in his career because just before that, he ended up as the leading run scorer in a particular calendar year. And he and Timut Karnaratna were forming a very formidable opening partnership. He had started off as a youngster with a lot of promise, really couldn't achieved those grades he was expected to be the next sangakara the expectations are too high though but then the second phase of his career when he was recalled one felt that he was getting his act together nicely played just the one it's good contest this tino best is bringing the best out Teramane. Puts everything into it, Tino Best. <coughs> Tino Best is the type of player, type of bowler you would want to have in your side because you can be assured that he will not give you 100%, but he'll give you 110. As he runs in, he bends his back, full of aggression, and very demonstrative. Loves wickets. Which is priceless for a bowler. Tino's gone on a lap of honour. The umpire says, Would you like your cap back? 49 for three, six gone. see the uh, damage caused in, in the third and the fourth over the three wickets going down three wickets the first team to lose three in the power play so six overs have gone nothing at all no sound no sound at all Tino. Oh, super. Uh, Jagasar. John Russ Jagasar, another West Indian cricketer. See, it's a different role for him here. In the previous game, he opened the bowling, looked to fire the ball in. Bowling. But he started off with a slowish off break, but the, that delivery was fired in. So he's bowling in the middle overs. He's a 50 in the 30 of 38 balls. It's a good time to come in because New York strikers are not looking to be overly aggressive. They're looking to consolidate. So these are the type of bowlers that could could get you a few cheap deliveries in. Good to see the, the children coming in. I reckon they're a pair of twins on the right. Up and over. Man out there will only watch it skip over the boundary rope. Colony Ground Home can be a really tough competitor to bowl to. He's a powerful striker again in his arc. He's got that extra cover area open. It's a big gap. 
So when it's in his arc, he, he can just express himself. Just like that, he just skipped away. No chance for the fielder. Oh, that's an enormous hit. I think that's the biggest of the tournament. That is colossal from Grand Dome. Yes, you're right. It must be one of the biggest. The timing was so sweet. Takes it from outside the off stump and look at that. Hold that pace and the response is equally aggressive. Oh dear me. Oh, we missed the catch. Spectator. Catch it! Catch it. No. There's a damaging blow has been uh, inflicted by Colin de Grandom. He's just going after them. He's got four, 15 runs already. In fact, 15 in the over. He's made 14 out of it. Now the equation is looking slightly different because the New York strikers are not holding it back. They're just giving it back to the Candy Samp army, not letting them settle down, not letting them dictate terms, despite three wickets being lost for 31. What, what, what? That's two. That'll just be the one. 42 balls have been delivered. That is seven overs. The strikers, 65 for three. So game interestingly poised, partnership 34 of 18 after being 31 for 3 in some early trouble. Pofu begins his second over. Great shot but parried and he'll be able to get through for, they're coming back for 2 as well. So that's some impressive running to Granholm, he's uh, keen to get back on strike, the big New Zealander. There you go. Granholm, he's a powerful lad, isn't he? He definitely packs a punch. And he's fit enough to get back for two. Tiriman was the one who was struggling. Oh, he's almost chopped that back onto the stumps. He's saying that Tiriman has been there from the beginning. They both faced 13, 13 deliveries. But the Granholm is in a rush this evening. Trying to have a bit of a counter punch. Not far from the stumps, this. There you go. Change of pace, undoing ground home. Oh, that's club. That's gone. Over mid wicket into the banks. Those grass banks, and that's a six for ground home. And he means business here today, and he's batting for the first time in the Come tournament. On, it's taking him a bit of time to get into this tournament. Didn't have anything to do really in the first couple of games, but he has been called upon in a crisis. 31 for three, and he's come in here, and he's made it look pretty easy. Really great work from him, and the fans are loving it. Samp Army owners. Slower ball and he goes down long off. He's coming into picture. Yeah! Brilliant. What a catch. Tino Best is pretty chuffed as he is. He's pretty aggressive. And he's saying the ball swung in the air, but I had it covered, boys. So there you go. This is a muffle, picks up wicket, that's a big one, Granholm trying to go downtown. 
Well, he was right, didn't it? He just swung a little bit, but that's Tino best for you. He will bring out all those actions. So, Granholm departs for 33. It's 73 for four. And it's also a time, now time for a strategic timeout. It's been all action so far. A lot of early wickets. Thiramana, the man standing on the other end, seeing four of his partners be dismissed. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. You wait, and look at the wicket. Really well judged. Tino Best catching and Poff with a bowler. So a good combination, the two of them. Getting a big breakthrough, the danger man to Grant Holm dismissed. So the new man out in the middle, in the middle, Marcelo Gunaratna. He's had a really good tournament, bat and ball all round there, Mr. Reliable. And there he's in the key position of number six. So now, but let's get to know from the how's it treating them. Ricardo, is the track very difficult? No, I wouldn't say that. I think the, the wicket is playing nice and true tonight. I think there's a little bit of dew on the wicket, so the ball is sliding on pretty nice, and the fast bowlers are making the best use of it. You guys are on the top of the ta table already. Do you guys think that might change today? Um, no, I think we have a, we still have a pretty strong batting lineup, and um, at the current rate at which we're going, I think... Though Sam Parmi is not very close to you, but then you lost early wickets. Yeah, I think, I, I think it's, a, I said it's a 90 over game. So another week wicket, Mpofu, he's got two in the over. And now the strikers, the much favoured strikers are in real trouble. They're far down. Tirimana fetching at that one again, change of pace, undoing Tirimana. And the uh, strikers are five down for 74 as Tirimana departs for 18. Yuvraj Singh marching out there, had a chat with him a bit earlier on and saying they're rotating their team, they're pretty confident right now, but he's walked into the centre. There's a player of the match in the first game of the tournament. But here's a look at the wicket, talk about the cutters, he's bowled it wide of the crease, he had to reach for that. And a lovely faint edge and Thiramane frustration. He's been out there for a while, 18, he only faced 14 deliveries out of the 48. So he was starved of the strike. Oh, 
right time to go back to Ayushi talking to Pau. Has logged in. And do you think we are expecting more runs now? Yeah, as I said, I mean, we have a pretty long batting lineup, and um, as I said, it's a 90 over um, game, and um, there's still a lot of batting to come, so we just have to wait and see. The wicket is, is playing good. Um, I think the fast bowlers are really running in, but it doesn't deter us from really scoring still. But talking about the batting lineup, do you think that top order failed to perform today? Um, I mean, obviously, guys got started and didn't carry through, and that's a part of cricket. I mean, when you look at um, all the games that we've played so far, the, the batting has really dominated. Quick the question What total do you think would be great here to defend? Um, I mean, on this wicket, maybe 150. Thank you so much for your time. No Back problem. to the commentators now. Thanks, you. She looks like she is a striker. She's dressed like the striker. She's got the pink on. The, the log leaders. I don't blame her. Jump on the winning horse there. But the leaders are under pressure here. 75 for 5. And Shukla, he's got pace, isn't he? Tell you what, he's certainly got the longest run up in this tournament that I've seen, and he is charging in. Oh, when he bowls a short ball to Yovraj, I tell you, if that was on target, he might have worn that one, because he was a bit late on it. But Shukla reminds me of a former Indian fast bowler, the way he comes in and bowls. Lakshapati Balaji, look at that release point. It looks a little like Balaji when he delivers that delivery. Blast it, just trying to have a look at conditions there, just get himself in. And Shukla, I tell you what, you know, the play start getting a little bit on in age, it's not easy facing express quick bowlers. And he's running in here now, Shukla. Oh, goes past the outside edge. And the Semp army have got to be aware of this point in the game, how important it is. They keep applying this pressure, don't let them off the hook here, the strikers, and try and really bowl them out here. They've got a real opportunity. You have 30, 38 balls remaining in the innings. Now, Aaron Finch, he's marshaled his men so well. He's, he's brought in the changes very well. And uh, the moment he's changed his bowlers around, he's got wickets. He's been brilliant that the first five, there were five different bowlers. And he's, he's motioning to certain bowlers that you coming on next year and you're going to be coming on next over the other end. So it's commu communication pretty good, giving the bowlers plenty of time to prepare mentally for when they're going to bowl. And I always appreciate that really, rather than at the end of the over, you get called upon, come on, dish up some bowling here, yeah? and you're not really ready for it. So good captaincy. Oh, that's a beauty. That's real pace. You've read sing. Good morning. He's definitely generating some pace. Well, look at that. That just kept going. That just whiskered past uh, Yuvraj. Easily going over 130, 135. Easily. I'll tell you, him and Best. Two of the quickest bowlers in this competition. All effort running in as he does again. So Yuvraj got some work to do here. And he is underway. Yuvraj Singh, the skipper. Seventy-five for five. So a couple of white stripes there in the fourth over and the eighth over. And that's really where Semp Army have done well. When they've got a wicket, they've taken one immediately afterwards to compound the pressure. And we've seen Shukla running in, bowling rapidly. And now Finch, Finchy, he wants the quick men to continue. He wants to maintain his stranglehold on this game at the moment. The rate they're scoring at just over eight to the over, they'll be pleased. Yeah, I think Finch got up. Good presence of mind. He wants wickets. He knows a wicket here is going to put the strikers in a lot of trouble. So he's looking for that wicket. Get, get, 
Big shot, third man coming into picture. Dropped it. Shukla. Coming into picture and dropping it. Tino Best, excuse what might have been said there in the stump microphone. Well, how did he put that one down? How did he put that one? And look at that. Just look at the expression of Tino Best. Now, did Shukla drop the match? Well, Yuvraj Singh is always a big wicket, no matter when, even when he's in retirement. You don't want to drop him and make you pay, and he'll be really disappointed. Of course, shake of the head. He got there. That drive ran, flew all the way down to third man. Good pace from Best. Flicked in the air, safely this time. Come, come, come now! So looking to come back for two. Yuvraj is stretching the old legs out. Marcelo Gunratna no, no. is a local boy. He comes from uh, Kandy. He's played a lot of cricket here. Um, as you know, he's from uh, the Sri Lanka Army. He's uh, he one of the for cricketers from the forces who have played for Sri Lanka. But he's a very wristy player, John. If you really look the way he bats, he works his wrist a lot. That last shot just went right across it. So Best is trying to target the stumps quick as he can oh I tell you what don't hold on to that one Tino Tino if you're betting you know you are in for a humdinger a real battle and he's got a smile on his face and having a look at what he's done this evening a really well catch that was Powell and this was a really sharp catch. That was an outstanding catch. And then Tino based in the action. Caught it long off to Grunholm. That was a big wicket. Tino Best, two for 15. Yep, he's having a good spell this evening. Running in again. Should have had three. Should have been three for 15. Unfortunate for him. 75 for five. Fielder there, six. Just had the legs. Tino Best, he's pushing for the wicket, but that's gone all the way. There you go. This is what Asela Gunratna can do. I told you, he's a very risky player, John. Look at that, just the roll of the wrist. And away she goes over square to get the distance. Very well done. He does use the shock short ball tactic regularly and he always has a look upstairs for any batter that's arrived in the middle those fans are loving that six they want four sixes lovely to have you with us gee whiz that's a shot and a half that's four that was just dismissed from his presence 89 for five So a partnership of 15 of 12 deliveries, getting the strikers back into this contest. Gunnar Ratna has just played two ridiculous shots to end that over. That last shot, have a look at this piece of timing. 
This is a short arm jab, isn't it? Look at that. That is beautifully done. I'd also have my hands on my knees there. How did that happen? Stewart with a short ball. That's too short, I thought, and should be wider. Yes, it is. Isn't it interesting you brought with the short ball since you can only saw Shukla doing that? And now Nevin Stewart tries a, something similar. Dan Christian is paired up to come in next, so they've still got batting left. Yeah, that's good bowling. Change of pace on the stumps. Singh at the moment just trying to get himself in there. He's battled a bit with some short balls. He's having a bit of banter with his. Yeah. Yeah. With a bowler at the yes, moment, yes. O'Brien put a catch down earlier on. Shukla's put down Yuvraj Singh as well. So there's been a number of drop chances. And if you see how the game is positioned right now, if they're taking those chances, who knows where they'd be right now? They're sticking to their task here. Big wickets, these two at the crease at the moment. Stewart just starting his second over. He running in, just trying to mix up the pace as much as he can. Third man, fine leg up, so he's going to bowl a lot of cutters, no doubt. Oh, down the leg side, and that's got away from him. Well, you can look at the, if you look at the field. Uh, John, so he's got the three boundary riders on the on side. So it's just identified where Gunaratna will be targeting. Because he's a very risky player. He likes to go across. And this time he goes through the offside. Again, look at the, how those wrists work. It's just the minimum of effort or footwork. Couple of big names, Chimindavas, top left, with a grey beard. Lovely to have him in this tournament. There's the same army support and owners enjoying their evening and their dinner. Slow ball, he's carved this one out and a bit of work to do and that's four. So um, Stewart uh, giving him the hair blower treatment there for that piece of fielding. But you just can't afford to bowl at UV on that line, is it? He will just smack you very comfortably. Yeah, which is, which is not the best effort down in the boundary. And let's look at Nevin Stewart. Cut now. Four more. Stewart can't blame the fielder for that. That was a poor delivery. Short, wide. And the field he's got, that's the worst type of delivery you can bowl. This is not good. This is not good from Can uh, Candy Sam Bambi. They're letting the strikers off the hook here. They had them under control mm. of this partnership. Now look, that is once again very comfortably put away by the uh, striker skipper. That's bad bowling. Uh. And that's... Oh, oh, oh. Red ball, red ball. That's hit uh, Gunaratna, the non-striker. That might have hurt. That might have hurt. And I'll tell you what. Marcelo Gunaratna had to give up on his uh, international career because of a hand injury. Oh, that's a, a sickening blow there on the left hand. When I hit him on the wrist or on the palm, but that was, wow, that sort of timing. You've read him with a straight drive. That was a proper shot. Really, look at this beautiful full face. Oh, I tell you, he tried to get his hands, almost his palms to face the ball and he's got no protection on that part of the glove. If you put your hands up like that, 
Well, looks to have hit him on the on the inside of his left wrist. There it is, magic spray. Let's see if it does what it says. It's got to lose your feeling in your wrist. Top hand for a batsman. 2020. You need your bottom hand more though, don't you? <laughs> just taking a moment. And the umpires have just got to really keep the game going. So trying to keep the game moving forward so he can't take too long. They'll give him a, a little bit of an allowance to get himself back to full fitness. Jivraj Singh, what a shot he hit there. But they dropped him a bit earlier on. And this was a really key moment in the game, I thought. The first couple of balls he faced out in the middle. Shukla was the man, a third man. Really was a hugely disappointing moment. You can see the emotions. Martino Best's face distraught. And your fellow fast bowler, you really want to try to look after each other. And it just didn't work out tonight. So Gunaratna, he's back, patched up and ready, ready to move on. The medical staff just getting off the field at this point. And one delivery left. So, a single, they're pushing hard for two, Yavraj, but he's going to retain the strike. So, 13 off it, 102 for five. It's 102 for five. And I'm wondering whether the team have, uh, that is, New York strikers, have t decided to take the batting power play. Well, these are the buildings that are starting to be constructed in innings. The last two ones very consistent in height. And they're moving quite well. Yuraj was lucky. Gunratna 15 of nine. Yuraj 12 of 10. Right, so what's up? Eyes on Ranmo Martinez, just to confirm that that is the batting power play. So the New York strikers have decided to take it in the 12th over, which means that uh, the fielding side, that is the Candy Samp Army, can have just three fielders outside that 30-yard circle. It is going to be Mpofu. It starts off well with a dot. Oh, in fact, a single only. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Now the projected score is 139. I'm just wondering whether that's going to be sufficient. Now considering the bowling the New York strikers have, they look the strongest unit in the tournament, but Kendi and Sampami has really done well here. Yeah, ordinarily we would we would say 139 is not enough. But if we look at this afternoon's game, what was that chase down in? It was also around about that 130 mark, and it was it was chased down. Was, there was just an over to spare. You know, it's certainly not a 160, 170 pitch. Don't do that. But if you get in that 130 mark, it just allows the side batting second. To never really feel under pressure from the word go you know and if they get a good power play then they break the back of the chase not not good fielding that's a boundary to Yuraj Singh that was wide outside the off stump and Pufu making the mistake of dropping it short and giving him a lot of it Yuraj Singh is starting to warm up here pace off the ball and off the middle of the bat. There was a reluctance from Kevin O'Brien. Yeah, diving is going to be a challenge. Throwing themselves around is going to be a challenge on the field. 
Oh, now this time, this should be taken. It is. Yuraj Singh goes. That's a big wicket. Mpofu strikes. Huge. Massive for Candy because of the damage that Yuraj Singh can do in these last few overs. Just rushed him. And that's the problem with the surface for the batters is that some come on, some don't. That one did. It was a simple, simple catch. And Yuvraj Singh, the danger man, goes for 17, 108 for 6. Hundred and eight for six. <laughs> well, Yuraj Singh was lucky to be missed once at third man. And he could be a very dangerous player. Now it's time for Dan Christian. Look at that record. Look at the strike rate. Perfect to come in at this stage with 20 balls to go. He's striking at close to 140. A middle. Center, yeah. And like that. One. I'm not sure there's many more experienced campaigners than Dan Christian. He's here because of the dismissal of Yuvraj Singh. Easy catch, good delivery. And Porfu has been good again. Three for 19. He's been exceptional ever since that first over against Ben Dunk. You took words out of my mouth, absolutely right. He went for so many runs in that first over and... Just didn't right. look himself, but then that second spell when he came on, and got wickets and since then he's been very controlled <laughs> i think he hasn't looked to bowl too quickly he's he's bowled within himself but it's the control that he's brought in i just wonder whether the captain of the sampani army will ask Mpofo to be that man to bowl four overs to bowl 24 deliveries this is his 18th Backs into the gap, only a single. It's a very good over for the Sampami, the batting power play. Just up, seven runs up. and a wicket. 72 balls done. It's 109 for six. Down to the last 18 balls of these innings of the New York strikers. Well, Nadim has, uh, has an economy of just seven. He's bowled six deliveries. But look at Mpofu, just 6.67. He's bowled 18 deliveries. Other than Stuart and uh, Chagisa, the rest of the bowling looks pretty decent and pretty respectable. So Nadim back for the second over. Super, super. He bowled the first over of the innings. Easy, easy. A very canny left arm spinner. Bowls a very good length for, I'll say, T20 cricket because we're in a new format here of 90 balls. So we've only really got T20 to rely on when it comes to are they performers or not. Oh, what a shot that is. Asay Laguna Ratna. That's gone all the way for six. Great improvisation. Well, I've been praising his length, but this he gets too full. As soon as a batter can stand in his crease and improvise like this, you've got your length wrong. He needs to just drag that back ever so slightly. But let's not take away from the stroke. That is a serious reverse sweep. That's slower. That's cleverly bold. That delivery coming into the right hand, but it's bowled much slower. The previous one was a bit fuller, and he just dragging that length back just a fraction. So, eight of the first three. That's a wide. 
that's a poor delivery. Okay, he, he doesn't really spin the ball, but he tends to slide it into the right hander. That appears to be the general strategy of spinners we've seen here, rather than spin. Yo! They look to push the ball through quick. Well, another Looking at the bowling options, Mpofu has been good. He's bowled three overs, two for 20. Best is another option to bowl that fourth over, two for 25 of three. Those are the likeliest candidates to bowl that extra over. Nice use of the feet. This man is looking really good here. He's now moved to 27 of 13 deliveries, striking at more than 200. A reverse swept six, and now a beautifully executed shot over extra cover. We're so used to singing his praises with ball in hand because he's been exceptional bowling. Now he's showing what he can do with the bat. That's as good a shot as you'll see. Goes again, goes again. Has it gone all the way? No, it hasn't, but one bounce for four. Tremendous. This is really good batting. That's a big over. 127 for six. strikers are looking good with just two overs to go or 12 balls to go at 127 for six at the current rate they'll get close to 150. Asel Gunratna is looking in very good form here two reverse sweeps this went for four the previous one went for six the one in between went for four a lovely punch over extra cover so this is the fourth over this is the bowler that has been picked to bowl the fourth over in Pofu. Starts off with a single and bowling the penultimate oh, over of the New York strikers innings. Good run on strike. Pace off, pace off that time, over the wicket, slightly lower arm, but pace off. Well bowled, well bowled, but it'd still be a boundary. No reward for some good bowling. Gonoratna dug it out and manages to get a boundary. Brilliantly played. Yes, great delivery, but the awareness to know that third was up in the circle and that is very deliberately played. Angled the bat to take it fine away for four. This is a brilliant innings here. This could possibly be a match-winning innings. Played it from his off stump, Asselagun Ratna that time. Oh, my goodness. That is gone for six. Everything that he's touching seems to be turning to gold here. He's uh, galloped along to 41 of just 17 deliveries. This goes flat. It's almost just above head height makes contact and it doesn't get much higher than that it just goes flat 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 for six oh, he's hit that hard he's got two balls left in the over this time oh well done well done Aaron Finch 
that was four had it gone past him he did extremely well to cut that off but still a single two overs ago the projected score was 138 the projected score now reads 151 it just shows you the acceleration and Porfu now the highest wicket taker in the competition with eight what about that economy rate of a sailor Guru Naratna straight to the man at cover so 19 done or I beg your pardon 14 done 140 for six Shukla will bowl the last over. He looked quite pacey, I must tell you. One for 14 of 12 balls. So they're left with six deliveries in this innings, New York strikers. So Dan Christian on strike. He's five of six. Well bowled, well bowled, and what about that shot? That was he was going for that full Yorker on the leg stump, but Dan Christian just dismissed it. This is why people paid the big bucks for Dan Christian during his illustrious career. The ability to finish an innings. One forty-four. I'm not sure they thought they would even get that far. They'll be disappointed if they don't get 155 now. I think they're well on course. What a shot that was from Dan Christian. Almost a York on the leg stump. This time. Gets a single only. He was again looking to hit it to mid wicket. Inside edge. Well, he bowls with decent pace. But the only thing when you bowl with this sort of pace is that you provide opportunities for batters to use that pace. That was a good delivery. Now, so far in this over, he hasn't taken pace off and he's bowled the ball in the hitting zone. Conrad. That time, just back of a length, but rushed him a little bit. Just didn't let him play that shot to mid because instead it went to mid on. One effort, one effort, guys. Extra pace helping out a little bit to the bowler. Six runs so far of the first three. Yeah, I think is it Christian will stand still and try and hit it straight down the ground or towards deep mid wicket, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be against him. Just giving himself a little bit of room and trying to carve him over point. Again, this is good bowling, very good bowling. Good bowling at the death. He's going full at the leg stump, not giving the batter any space. Well, that surprised me because I thought he'd been going length. That's the first real ball that he's got right in the serve. He's gone. He's trying to go fuller to Christian and shorter to Gunaratne. He's got me perplexed. Down to the last two. 88 balls for 147. Again, well ball, well ball. They're asking, and he's walking, in fact. Very good catch by the keeper. He followed him, followed Gunaratna. I think that was an outside edge, not an inside edge, but still an excellent catch. Excellent catch, but excellent delivery as well. That's two Yorkers he's got right in a row. And let's doff our cap to Gunaratna. He hasn't waited around for a decision to be made. Makes his way off the park. It's a serious innings from the all-rounder. Goes for 43 of just 20 deliveries. One for seven for seven. So 
Isurudana is the new batter. He can handle a bat, I'll tell you, Isurudana. He's got a best of 84. Right arm over. A strike rate of almost 130. Right He's down to the last ball of the innings. New York strikers, an impressive 147 for seven. Last delivery. Oh, that's huge. That's six. That's out of the ground. And what a way to finish the innings. Shukla just straying down the leg side. A friendly full toss. And it's 153 for seven New York strikers at the end of 90 balls. Spoilt the over. He had really bowled at one. He had got a fourth, the first delivery, then three singles, then that wicket. But the last delivery was not where he wanted it to be. And it disappeared out the ground. Still, still takes some doing to walk to the wicket and find the middle of the bat first ball. That's brilliant from Udana. It's still the lowest score that the New York uh, strikers have managed to achieve in this tournament. But the surface has probably been the toughest for the batters to, bow, to bat on. They'll be pleased with how they ended up their innings because at one stage they didn't look like getting beyond 135 or in the 130s. But this is a very good finish by the New York strikers. Courtesy, of course, Asel Agunaratna. What a fantastic innings, 43 of 20. Christian helping him along, 11 of 9. And Udana getting a 6 of the very first delivery. So that is the target for the Candy Sampami, 154 of 90 balls. A tough work for the top order, really. Terramano has really got runs in this competition. And Walton, who'd done so well, they were dismissed relatively early. The Grandom played nicely for his 33, but I think the innings belongs to the all-rounder from Sri Lanka. Gunaratna, he's 43 off 20, ensuring they posted something defendable. Uh, not many partnerships to talk of at the top. The opener's been separated, just 22 runs and 5 and 4, and then Tiriman and the ground home. But look at the last two partnerships, 34 of 24 and 39 of 20, and that last partnership, six runs of one ball. So, bowling of Candy Sampami. Well, Limpofu went for some runs in that last over. Best was good. Economy was good, but then what about Stuart and Jagasar? They've been going at uh, quite a few runs, and also Nadim went, for, went at 12 and a half runs. Who's there? Right, let's go down and listen to Tino Best. I'm down here with Tino Best. Tino, it's very nice to see you playing with so much energy and passion. How do you prepare your mindset? I love the game. Um, you know, at the end of the day, um, what, what works for me is that I'm a strength and conditioning coach back home in Barbados. That's oh. my profession. So okay. I get a little cheat code on the guys because I got to be fit to inspire my clients to, to be fit as well. So I got to keep myself in shape 24 7, all year long, all, all the time. Right. Interesting. And the target right now is 154. Mm -hmm. Is this an achievable target? Oh, most definitely. I think, look, these guys body really well. Um, mm -hmm. We try to make sure that we play a, a, a extra pace to today, to, you know, because the, the batting lineup is extremely good. Mm -hmm. And I think that we restrict them. I think mm -hmm. that anything below 160 is gettable, is a yeah. fantastic surface, and I just hope that the guys go out and execute. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Now, what do you think about the team's combination? Yeah, the, the teams are good. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's always good. I want a UV wicket, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's go for it. Yeah, man, you know, it's, it's all, we've been battling for, for yeah. two decades yeah, now and yeah. it's always good to you see all fools and, and enjoying it as well and you know the passion once you love the game you can always give 100 percent so mm -hmm. you know that's the, 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 the sweetest thing about playing cricket you, yeah. you play as long as you can because mm -hmm. there will become there will come a time that you, you can't play anymore and you're going to look back and say i, I should have given you a little bit more energy so yeah. Every opportunity I get, even if I'm playing club cricket back in Barbados, right. 150 percent all the time. All right, and what do you think Sam Palmer needs to win consistently? Um, just, um, just execution. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at the end of the day, we know we're past our best, yeah. <laughs> but mm -hmm. it, it is about enjoying the game. You know, yeah. starting well with the ball, starting starting well with the bat as well. Yeah. Just putting yourself in a position to win. I think that's is all about execution and just. You got a little bit more time than you actually do, even though it's, it's five overs shorter. Yeah. It's a new format, but I think the guys are going to be lying tonight. Interesting. Thank you very much for joining with us. Thank you, and yeah, we cheers. wish you all the very best. Thank you very much.
such a different personality very aggressive on the field but absolutely friendly off it so 154 is what candy stamp army needs of 90 balls don't go too far away we'll be back very shortly Welcome back to the Palakeli International Cricket Stadium, Aaron Finch and Yuvraj Singh, the skippers in this uh, must-win match for the uh, local team, the Candy Camp Samp Army. And uh, I must say that the New York strikers have laid down a marker. They really got off to a pretty decent start. Although they lost wickets, they were three down in the power play. But Chadwick Walton in imperious form before he found deep mid wicket. This should have been taken, but Kevin O'Brien spilled it, and I can't remember last when I saw the Irishman spill a catch. And then Tino Best, full of fire, hostility, picks up the wicket. Jonathan Fu picked up the catch, and this was a great contest. Another good catch. Jessel Carrier. But the pitch is playing well. That's the thing. If you get in on this pitch, you can play your shots. And we've seen that. And that's why the score got to 153 for seven. Colin de Grondo. Strong and powerful, the big Kiwi. This is the biggest hit of the night. Colossal six. Yes, he just uh, kept going. And uh, finally, he held on uh, to the uh, Gino Best. He he's not just really have some fun to give and then with the depart of Thirimana they were 75 for 5 at one stage but then the recovery came but if that catch would have been taken it would have been a different story and, uh, then it was Gunaratna and Yuvraj yeah Gunaratna played one of the great innings here because he not only cemented it but he actually finished it reinforced what had been uh, a pretty fragmentary start Runs on the board, but wickets down as well. I'm just a little surprised. That was the end of you, Raj. Surprised that you, Raj, comes in as late as he does. I'd like to see him going up maybe in the top four. But uh, Gunaratna made sure with some terrific batting. Look at those hands. Look at those arms working in unison. And the boundaries kept coming towards the end. This was a wonderful catch. Ronald Yadav uh, behind the stumps in this match. But uh, the New York strikers recovering from 30 for 3 to 153 for 7. And the Candy Samp Army, 154 is the target from uh, their 90 balls. Remember, this is a 90 ball, 15 over contest. It's not T20. So the likes of Aaron Finch, Jonathan Fu, Kevin O'Brien, Jessel Carrier. They're going to have to go some to get this target. They're not as blessed in batting as the New York strikers are. So there's a huge responsibility on the shoulders of that gentleman on the right, Australia's World Cup winning captain, Aaron Finch. Outstanding leader and a wonderful player. And can adapt to situations. Jonathan Fu. West Indies is opening with Aaron Finch. Candy Samp Army. They need 
to get off to a start, they, they cannot afford to lose the early wickets here. Kevin O'Brien will probably bat three. I'm just looking at their batting lineup, and there's a lot of bowling in their side, and they, they don't bat a long way down. Jonathan Fu. Jonathan Fu from Berbis in uh, Guyana. Just 33 years of age, picked up a couple of good catches. But, uh, this is the man who's going to have to mastermind, he's going to have to craft this reply. Look at those runs, the number of matches, and he's uh, been a leader of not just Australia, but other teams, a record 76 times in T20 cricket. Aaron Finch, you've got a job to do, Captain. It's not going to be easy because the man who's got the ball in hand, he's played around the globe in this format, in T20 formats. This is not a big difference for him. Look at that, 211 matches, 211 wickets, economy is good. Yeah, Asura Udana has a real box of tricks and he's one of the best exponents of the slower ball with the ball coming out to the back of the hand. It's the most extraordinary skill for a fast bowler. Timal Mills is another left arm pace bowler who delivers the ball with the back of the hand facing the batter. The back of the hand. Now we know that leg spinners do it, right arm leg spinners, but it's a slower motion. When you're running in from 20 yards at almost full pace, it becomes difficult. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna try and explain this to you. Kevin O'Brien's walking in Jonathan Fu came on to bat uh, with Aaron Finch, but he's he has been spoken to by the third umpire there, or the fourth umpire. Now we're going to try and make sense of this. Um, can't quite understand why Jonathan Fu has been pulled off the playing area, but Kevin O'Brien from Ireland is batting with Aaron Finch. Finch on strike. No, mate. Well, I've just glanced over my shoulder to fellow commentators, John Kent, H.D. Ackerman, to find out and see if they knew. But no, it's the shrugged shoulders look. But uh, I will promise you that we'll try and f find out what's happened there. But Kevin O'Brien will relish this opportunity to go up the order to bat with Aaron Finch to start this reply. No run. Oh, yes, it's Good it. line. This is what he will do. This is what Isura Udana will do. He'll mix things up and he will not allow the ball to come onto the bat. Kevin O'Brien, over 4,500 runs. Look at that strike rate. It's 134 with the best of 120. Was he off the field, Alan? No, not at all. I, I just, I'm, I'm just trying to think. I've watched that innings. Bold, a little extra pace from Isuru Udana. All right, click. <laughs> Isuru Udana has uh, been playing franchise cricket for a number of years. And he's been a prized commodity because of his repertoire, because he has adapted to the rigors of franchise cricket, T20 cricket. So now we're just hearing that be because Jonathan Fu was off the field for seven minutes, the last couple of overs, Great looking shot. That will go all the way for four. So this is Kevin O'Brien for you. Stand and deliver. Minimal of effort. And uh, I have to just smack through the offside. So, because Jonathan Fu was off the field for those seven or eight minutes, he 
he has been advised and told by the fourth umpire that you can't go on straight away you have to be off for at least those seven or eight minutes and so that's why he was swapped with Kevin O'Brien it comes down to basics in the end and the playing regulations so I actually didn't see that Jonathan Jonathan Fu had gone off the field. What he was he was a boundary marshal, wasn't he, for a while, for a long time. So he probably just slipped off over the boundary. Oh, there's nothing on that. That's so difficult to deal with. As Kevin O'Brien looks uh, bemused. First over, gone. Five for no wicket. No one, Pradeep. Oh, goodness. I don't think he's really caught this. It's one bounce four. Didn't sound as if it came straight out of the screws. So Nuan Pradeep is greeted with a boundary from Aaron Finch. He's back turned on him there. Really look at it. That's why it didn't come off the sweet spot. No, it didn't. And that sort of thin sound. Yeah, he's looking at the bottom of his bat. He's probably got a few more in the bag. Of course, they, they all do. The bags get bigger and bigger. Finch knows he's got to uh, last the distance here. Ooh. If that had hit, O'Brien would have carried on his run straight through back to the dugout. It was a risky run, this. It was his call. It was his call. Call, but it's still there. Oh, he missed by a mile. Well, actually, I think that throw was straight. I'm not sure if you got that on another angle, but I think the throw was reasonably straight. But it caught the edge of the square and it bounced extravagantly over the stumps. Sometimes you see, well, you can just see a line there. You can just see where they call it in Australia, call it the block. The whole square was probably have about 10 pitches on it. And over the course of time, you lay topsoil on pitches in the off season and you build and you rebuild, you repair pitches. And on, on some blocks in certain grounds, the pitch will be raised. The pitches will be raised. And it's only a tiny little ridge, but it's enough to make a little indentation. Oh, Ooh, oh. good heat. Wow. Chadwick Walton couldn't take that. That has gone all the way. Goodness, that was a sharp delivery. He can be sharp. It's a signal for buys. No one probably can be sharp. One ball. He bowls quick. He has an ability to really bend his back when needed. And that really surprised Walton as well. Yeah, it did. Well, Nuan Pradeep's a, a veteran of Sri Lankan cricket. 70 wickets in test matches, 63 ODI wickets, and 15 in the T20 internationals. This guy's been around a while. Looking for the Yorker. Doesn't find his length. Finds Isuru Udana. I've seen some pretty high quality fast bowling here. Tino Best setting the tone. So Luan Pradeep has a story in his, in his arrival to uh, international cricket, to auto club cricket. There was a competition where you find the f bowler who could bowl the fastest ball. And he was the guy picked from that competition who bowled the fastest ball. And that's how he got into the cricketing field. Ooh. It's a full toss and it's put away. Finch says, I'm not going to mess around. That's going for four. 19 for no wicket from 12.
Well, you can see how important this match is for the Candy Samp Army. They've won one from their two. The New York Strikers are the only unbeaten tie, uh, side. Three from three. And they've posted 153 for seven on the board. Kevin O'Brien on strike. So this was the uh, last ball of the previous over. Man, probably trying to pull up the hand delivery. Didn't work out for him, did he? That is such. <laughs> that is such a difficult skill to execute. The back of the hand, slower ball, at pace. Oh, powerful. Kevin O'Brien, that is typically the Irishman's shot. It's his area. And they enjoyed it too. Well, you can't give length to uh, Kevin O'Brien. That's what he loves to do, go downtown, go over the infield. He's a strong lad. And again, I don't think he really got it in the middle. <laughs> no, I think if he had, it would have gone into the stands. Slower ball. Kevin O'Brien had almost preempted the slower ball and came down the pitch. Big man, big tall man, Kevin O'Brien and Isuru Udana. I really enjoy the repertoire that the Sri Lankan left armor has got. This is back of the hand, as you said. You've tried it, Alan? I have, and it, I, it's impossible. Yeah, look at that. If you've ever tried that, any young aspiring cricketers, if you're trying that, be careful. I suggest, uh, no, I really do. I, I suggest that if anyone, any young cricketer watching this and wants and thinks, okay, well, I'll try that, I would try it with a tennis ball first or a smaller ball, even a squash ball, something, because to actually turn your wrist around your, so that your the back of your hand is facing the, the batter, even that, I'm twisting my arm doing it here in the commentary, it, it, it strains the muscles down the, down the arm. Uh, it's a fantastic skill. No, no, not now. Oh. I like this from Udana. He's what looking for it? Yorker length. He's asking Kevin O'Brien, OK, go downtown with that. If you're going to hit a Yorker over long off, you're a better man than me. VIPs are in town, and it's uh, good to see everyone here in the Palakeli International Stadium. Now then, he's leaning back here, O'Brien, and he's going to get four more. Again, wasn't quite out of the middle, but it's good enough. Three overs gone, 29 for no wicket. Strikers, 153 for seven. Wonderful innings of uh, improvisation from uh, Gunaratne. De Grandhomme, a belligerent 33. Piramane, 18. Yuvraj with his 17. That's so typical Kevin O'Brien. Stays back in the crease and looks over that long, off, deep extra cover area. It's a change of pace that uh, Sirudan is bowling. That is finding it difficult for the batters. Oh, that's good. 
Aaron Finch. Oh, vintage, vintage Australian Finch. Oh, I enjoyed this. Well, Finn says, the faster you come at me, the faster you disappear. Trying to get a square at you. And that's typical of the way that Aaron Finch thinks with his batting. He's a master craftsman. He's been around for a long time, Aaron Finch. He knows the size of this task. Oh, he squirts this out. Leg side. Gunratna, the fielder. Now, does he, he needs some new gloves. It's very hot there. And I think the bat swiveled in, his, uh, in those gloves. So he needs some new gloves. Very rarely does the modern player use an inner glove, a very thin cotton, to absorb the, uh, the, the sweat, the perspiration. Maybe they have so much of pairs of gloves with them. <laughs> Great shot. Oh, it's up and over cover. Now, for a moment, Alan, the strikers might be feeling was it uh, something bad that Kevin O'Brien came into bed ahead of Fu? Yeah, probably didn't enjoy that decision. Now, I think he wants a new bat. I thought he wanted new gloves, but it, it looks like maybe the, there might have been something that's gone in the splice. But you can see how Kevin O'Brien's playing this. He's just pulling away, giving himself room. Slower ball from Pradeep. So you've got two quick bowlers on here, Nuan Pradeep and Isuru Udana. And uh, the pace of the ball being delivered has been put away at a rate of knots. And so Aaron Finch needs a... Uh, a new piece of equipment right there. Yeah, he's going to have some gloves. I thought he was going to have a new bat. No, nope, gloves will do. No, I'm sh <laughs> and bat. There we are. It's a big operation. You need someone to carry the gloves and someone the bats. Meanwhile, the um, the VIP is enjoying vantage points. Catch says the keeper, and catch it is. <laughs> Colin de Grandhomme takes a tumbling catch, and the fireworks from these openers comes to an end. It's Aaron Finch, who was looking for that mid-wicket boundary. Well, the change of the bat and the change of gloves doesn't work for Aaron Finch. He finds the field at mid-wicket, and that is another slow one. The change of pace delivery working. So the captain departs for 16, it's 39 for one. No, 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 I won't. Yeah, that's a big blow struck. You needed Aaron Finch to stick around. I think it might be Naveen Stewart. Naveen Stewart. Naveen Stewart. Uh, no, well, he has been very much a quicker bowler in this tournament. It's the highest he's batted so far. You see how the wrist, you see that wrist has come down the side of the ball. It's a slower delivery. Good catch from De Grandom. Right arm over. One more to go. No, and an interesting thing is, how long does Jonathan Fufu have to stay? Because now we've seen Evan Stewart coming in. Well, maybe they've worked something out, and we don't know yet. Maybe it's all part of the master, the Da Vinci plan. So, 
We've got Naveen Stewart from Trinidad and Tobago. His partner in Kevin O'Brien from Dublin. Oh. It's the end of the bowling power play. So much happening here. 24 balls, four overs gone. Candy Samp Army, 40 for one. that wicket at the worst possible time really at the conclusion of the power play they've done all the good work 40 for one the Sam Barbie Finch 16 of 12 now the introduction of spin roll Sharma what a big turner of the ball 74 matches in his t20 career I could have sworn he played more than that the towel seems to be out so there could be some dew that it's making its way to the ground or making its appearance. That's not good news if you're, if you're part of the bowling unit. But yeah, Sharma, tall lad, doesn't spin but gets a lot of bounce, bit of briskish with his leg spin. That's a good shout. That's a real good shout. It's not being given out, but I tell you what. That is a very, very good shout for LBW. What was umpire Anmo Martinez thinking? I thought he said outside the leg stump. Let's see. Oh, that was in line. That was in line. This is out the ground. This is out the ground. That's a bit of salt to the moon. Given not out when it appeared to be in line and the very next delivery. Massive six for Stuart. Just was in line with the stumps and a big heave. This went as high as it did far. Easy to play shots like those when they had a chance, boys. Shot. Man alive. Yeah, it really Raul. was just the perfect leg spinner's dismissal, wasn't it? It pitched around leg stump, straightened, and would have been going on to hit leg stump. Unlucky. <laughs> yeah, the umpire thought otherwise. I think he, he clearly indicated it was outside the leg stump. But immediately the mat <laughs> confirmed what we thought. Kim O'Brien, 18 of 11. how the worst possible delivery if that was a test match delivery you'd be saying well that's a rank long hop but sometimes those long hops are very effective in the old short versions of the game because that's just smashed out to the sweeper on the offside for one and when you're getting hit for one you're winning the game That's a good shot at all. For a moment, I thought he was going to lift his finger in retaliation to the previous one. This time, I think uh, yeah, it would have been a slight inside edge or maybe a bit of bounce. But not a bad shot. But again, it appeared to be in line with the stumps. But he's, a, he, he's a very clever operator, Rahul Sharma. should be just the one and is we don't see anyone scurrying around trying to run quick twos end of 30 balls 49 for one
one for one after 30 balls. They're in pursuit of a few, yeah, 105 still needed from the remaining 60. Now, here we go. This has been a champion for the strikers, this man. He's got wickets, his economy rate's been brilliant. He's a real match winner. Oh, sweet sailor! He was a match winner when he played for Sri Lanka. It was very unfortunate that he lost his place playing a test match against India at ball. Dropped the catch at slip. He had a fracture and he never was picked after that. So that was a very unfortunate exit from international cricket for Asela Gunratna. So close. Now that is good running. This is really good running. A rare two. Just pushing into the gap. We haven't seen a lot of this, but for the first time, there was a bit of urgency. We talked about the, the tournament that he's having so far. I know it's early days, but two for 12. 12 deliveries, not for 26 in 18 deliveries, and then three for 22 in 24 deliveries. He was the bowler used in their last game to bowl the maximum four overs. He's been a good performer. Although that'll be a wide. We should learn, we should know better to talk someone up because they always let us down. <laughs> Add to that, he also. Played a very fine innings today, so he's really been a match winner, or at least the all-rounder that this team has been wanting to have, or will relish. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be. This is good running, very quick running, just tapping and running with the shot. The only thing is that required rate has got to 10 very quickly. After it had come down due to the Aaron Finch and Kevin O'Brien early onslaught has just gone up there again. See, Gunratna's over that has conceded just seven runs, obviously, will push that required rate up a little bit. Gunratna gets through his over as well, and he's pretty economical now. Let's see how he finishes here. One ball to go. That is six. He hasn't finished well. The Tandy Sampani. Are now 62 for one at the end of 36 balls. Decided to bat first the strikers as they've done throughout the competition the fourth time in a row that they had first hit 153 for seven they got yes, sir, sir, sir. Is it me or has he has he bowled the ball a little bit slower than what we normally see him bowl? I think that's what he's done. He's roll, just looped it up a little bit Possibly this is that last six. This is Stuart just hitting it with so much of power or mid wicket. Really big shot. He is a powerful striker, but yeah. The leg spinner Rahul has looked to bowl a bit slower. He has not pushed it through as he usually does. Catch it! There again. But he is all power, Evan Stewart. I think for just a moment, the strikers thought they were in the game. But he was of little doubt. Obviously, the plan is to try and deceive him. Look, look for his wicket. That's what he's looking to do, looking to attack. By tossing it up and searching for some turn. But obviously, Stewart was very good. The timing was good. The power was good. So he, he was able to clear long off. 
as it was hit the keeper shouted catch it and Stewart turned around and looked at him in disgust as if to say what are you doing appealing that one is a little quicker a little quicker a little flatter I thought that was to be expected after two tossed up deliveries one going for six the immediate response would be Figueroa. to try and push it through a little bit quicker to Stewart because he's looking to go over the top not afraid to lock it he seems to be very good over long off and long on and mid wicket that area that area I love looking at that Sam Barmy dug out there and just getting a glimpse of Paul Nixon again because while everyone else is pretty Give relaxed and there's roll. big smiles on their faces for Paul Nixon this is a World Cup final Honestly, every game that he plays is like a World Cup final, or if he's the coach. Well, you don't toss it, Done him, tossed up, and finally he has his reward. What promised the innings certainly promised 23 of 12 deliveries he'd hit three big ones he was looking for one more the old kabaddi celebration from Sharma Raul Sharma but a nice entertaining innings pity it had to come to an end Stewart goes for 23 71 for two Here we go. He's been to the wicket once before and sent back. Now he's uh, going to get an opportunity to have another hit here. Foo. Also the man from the Caribbean. Jonathan Foo, 30 matches. That strike rate will do nicely. Again, he was looking for that big heave that was tossed up. His ploy worked, but didn't spin, but just hit the pad and slid on off the off the pad onto the stumps. That's clever bowling. Nicely bowled, lovely finish to 42nd delivery, 71 for two. You think that O'Brien will be the key because he's got the power. Wide. Colin de Grandom starts off with a wide. Nasty little bounce there just in front. I love their reactions. Always big smiles across their faces. See Paul Nixon, there he is. Yeah, it's every game is so important to him. And I remember day one of the tournament. He walked in and I was seated there. No time for greetings. <laughs> How are you, mate? That's all. And off he went and wanted Finchy to come in and he started throwing the throwing balls at him and he, he was specific I was listening to him do you want full tosses or do you want half volleys and off he went yeah it's fantastic you'll be writing whatever happens of every single delivery neat very neatly played love that the soft skills as they call it food just waiting for the ball to come on to him lit just a little bit of outswing from the ground home just a bit of bounce, enough pace, 
nobody behind square on the offside so becomes a pretty easy option well executed there's always place in the game for those soft skills isn't it and we see a lot of power and powers rewarded with big contracts around the world but we go back to the likes of I always I suppose it's every form of the game I bring his name up but you think of the likes of Mike Hussey who played exceptionally well across all the formats he just adapted there was no it was still very pleasant to watch <laughs> easy on the eye and sometimes these shorter versions are they brutal rather than pleasant on the eye now that's one tremendous player Mike Hussey well, he wasn't called Mr. Cricket for nothing. Place taken off from De Grande. Right, 48 deliveries bold. 80 for two. So a strategic timeout at 80 for two. Come back, match 11, summary, if you're tuning in. New York Strikers, 153 for seven, batting first, unbeaten in this tournament so far. Samp Army played one, played two, lost one, won one. So they are in an important position here to win this game. 74 needed a 42, 10 and a half to the over required. O'Brien came in and started with some firepower with Finchy. Nine opening stand, some beautiful shots hit all round the wicket. Good power play to start, but in the end, De Grandholm catching Finch in the deep. Really important wicket. Next, Stewart got to the crease, and he's got the long blade, long handle, and he plays big shots, time and time again, until he got dismissed off the pad. On to leg stump and a celebration for Rahul. One for 18 of his two overs. And Fu at the crease now. He's new to the crease with just one boundary. They've got a lot of work to do here. Ten and a half to the over needed. Keep going, Rahul. Keep going, Rahul. So Rahul's into his third over. He's been good. 18 for one. He went for a couple of big hits, but then he's come back very well. That is swung and swung hard. That's all the way. He does have power, isn't it? Gets right underneath that one. That uh, front foot opens up and away she goes. Big shot, then a defensive stroke to rotate the strike. 
the right 10.3 O'Brien. He's been in there for the days with four fours. And the crowd on the edge of their seat here. This game could go either way. Strikers, as mentioned you earlier, going, boys? Going, boys? so far. A number of Two changes every here, game, but that Two hasn't really here, mattered boys. to them. One set. The partnership now to 17 of 12. They need to really push on here. O'Brien need to hit a maximum, but there's That's the it, bench That's the it, to come. Important to mention the Bataan brothers not playing today. The skipper for strikers, Yuvraj Singh, bringing the changes. Stuff. Good stuff from Rahul. Might have felt that uh, Fu was coming down, dropped it. And uh, Fu had to reach for it. There you go. This is good stuff. Good stuff from Rahul. Ah! Yes, it is. The fingers up, and that's out. Well, Fu is trying to play across the line. What do they say in your school days? What do your coaches say? Don't play across the line, John. You gotta go. Salmon Trout, that is out. Hitting halfway up middle stump. Fu, the man to go for 13. Sam Palmy, 88 for 3. So Rahul Yadav is uh, the uh, new man walking in. Not the best of strike rates. Just a couple of matches under his belt. He was a stumper at the side, but he's in here because uh, Jonathan Fu played right across a straight delivery. He knew as soon as he missed it, he would have walked off for that one. Christian he was the captain the other day. Not today, but he's into the bowling attack. Starts with a leg cutting, slower ball, plenty of work to do on the boundary. And just the one. So the new batsman didn't run too hard there. He's going to have to try and run really a lot better than that to get O'Brien back on strike. Damn Christian. 409 matches. That's incredible, isn't it? But one thing uh, for sure, John, in this over, we're going to see a lot of back of the hand deliveries, a lot of slow balls, a lot of cutters. That's when Christian does. There we go, a bit quicker. See him up and the dove. Look to see if he gets given the run here. Yes, he does. So Christian really following a regulation delivery, but you can understand with players with age trying to get the arm over at the same sort of velocity and speed. It's not going to be as easy, so a lot of slow balls uh, have to be used and <laughs> smile on his face as there. He'll say, that was my arm ball. Well, he's mixing it up nicely here, and he's got a habit of winning trophies. It's been mentioned in previous games how many trophies around the world and leagues around the world. He's, he's come out on top and lifted the silverware at the moment. Is it a surprise that they top of the log? Brian just uh, sorting his kit out there. Three men posted on the leg side boundary. And those sort of deliveries, a single off a ball, the rate rises ever quicker. So oh. Singles wouldn't be the order of the day for the Sam Palmy to get to that total. 63 from 33. They need a big over, isn't it? You get one big over of 18 to 20, you're back in business. 
Her brand just needs a willing partner, someone to get a partnership with. Big shot, and that'll work. Doesn't matter how they come. That's in the end, just a single. I was going to go for four, but not as much pace on it as you first think. With a quick bowler, when that happens, it normally runs over the keeper for four. And not the quickest delivery, so holding up short of the boundary, your dove, just trying to play big shots here. He's got to try and give his partner some support, and he can't do it on his own. Third man coming up into the ring for O'Brien. Big shot, and that's somehow found its way over backward point. That's unfortunate for the bowler, but a vital boundary. Not where he would have intended it to go. Another roll of the fingers from uh, Dan Christian. Kevin O'Brien, it's the power that he carries, isn't it, that it took it to the boundary. The slowness that Christian bowls see the batsman is almost into the shot you see Kevin O'Brien was playing that almost with the weight right at the back slower bounce up pulled around the corner that's gone very quickly to Udana on the boundary so nine off the over 97 for three Cricket Trophy, match 12 at 4 p.m. Tomorrow, Dubai Giants taking on Punjab Royal. Okay. And in the evening oh, game, the very hard, winless very Devils hard, taking on the Rajasthan Kings. Oh, Kevin O'Brien, he goes down the ground, but he'll get only a single. All right, we got Ayushi down there. Let's see who she's got. We saw how Samp Army started very aggressively while fielding. Now I have Naveen Stewart with me. Naveen, we saw you hit three sixes and made 23 on 20, uh, 12 balls. How do you think was the pitch there? Was it coming on to the bat nicely? Um, firstly, what an amazing shot there. For six and shot. that was a huge six. <laughs> Yeah, firstly, I'd like to give thanks and praise to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving me this opportunity here to represent the Sampami family. And when we bowled first, the wicket was an absolute belter. Mm -hmm. I really felt, honestly, that they were like 15 runs short. I bowled on the wicket as well, so mm -hmm. I knew that it was coming on really, really nicely. Got the opportunity to bat number three, and it's 90 ball cricket. Legends cricket in Sri Lanka, so I just gave it my all. After 10 overs, your batting looks better than strikers. What changed? Um, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say it looked better than strikers. We just, obviously, we know what the total is in front of us. We know where we need it to be at all different facets of the game in terms, in terms of overs. And we just pressed the accelerator. I think we jumped them a little bit. We played nice and aggressively. And we mm. pushed them on the back foot. That is what the game is and about. And how are you prepared mentally to uh, come in front of the team who's already on the top of the table? Um, obviously, you want to give your, your, um, yourself a best chance against um, the best team um, who are currently leaded. Um, obviously, I represented strikers before <laughs> in New York because I based in New York mostly. Okay. And I know these guys, so obviously, you know, I really wanted to give my best that foot against them. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Back you so to much. the commentators so now. Yes. Lovely to hear from Stuart. Better New York living. Lovely to hear his thoughts on the wicket his batting prowess and here's a look at that lbw appeal pitched in line but that was definitely missing another set of stumps oh that's nicely bowled he just so ball sealer, ball sealer, ball sealer. with his leg spinners his off spinners and he mixes it up beautifully 11 overs gone 107 for three
So, Dan Christian, you have read Singh, the brain's trust of this strikers team, working out how they'd like to shuffle their bowlers around going into the back end of this innings. Christian, yeah, he's going to have his third, or I should say second over. Last over, a tidy job. He just went for a boundary at the end, a bit of an unlucky one. But now the game is in the balance and a lot of work to do for Samp Army. They need almost 12 to the over. Six bowlers used by uh, Yuvraj. Interesting to see who will be given the opportunity to bowl the fourth over. But Christian's on his way. And uh, this is Yadav coming into the action. That's a good hit. That's a good clean hit. This is what they need, isn't it? Wow. I tell you, that's a, 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 he swung hard. That's one thing you got to give him. With given outside off stump, was able to free the arms up. There was a bit of pace on that ball, and that's what assisted it getting all the way for six. Because to get it over third man, you need a lot of pace on the ball. Dan Christian bent his back on that occasion. And third man thought he had a chance, but oh no, Dan, unlucky lad. Straight now, what a shot, back to back boundaries, they doubt turning it on. That's two good clean hits, isn't it? No, Dan Christian again, he's trying to get some pace on the ball, that's not his forte, isn't it? He's more used to rolling his fingers and back of the hand deliveries, but if you give seam up, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, he's an experienced campaigner, Christian, and he, he knows. He had Madonna Madoff up in the ring and was trying to bowl back of a length. So he might change it up now. What's he going to do differently at this delivery now? Madonna Madoff up in the ring still. I just feel he's going to push one of them back at some stage here. Maybe bring the third man up, a fine leg up and bowl some cutters. That could be the order of the day. Short again. And you cannot hit it back over the bowler's head from that length. Oh. That's been called a wide. Keep going down, keep going down. No. Don't worry, Danny. Don't worry, Danny. Come up, boys. Come up. One bounce. Yeah. Gonna one to me now, Danny. Yeah. Gonna one to me now, Danny. Well, he was trying to pull a cutter, but it really didn't come off the hand correctly, is it? Maybe. Yeah. It's a, it's a wide because of the height. Slow ball, extra cover out. That's the wicket, Dan Christian, telling him where the shower is. Hot water's on the right. Well, I, I was telling you, John, that's what Christian is good at. Not the seam up. You need to, turn, to slow it up. And this time, Kapogedera took the easiest of catches. And Christian, as you said, yeah. Time to go, mate. <laughs> And uh, Yada departs for 20, a quick fire 20, it's 118 for four. So, a very important wicket, Yada, with 20 of nine. Brings in Jessel Correa, a strike rate 123.4, 30 matches and a best of 47. So they needing a heck of a lot from him from this situation. Kevin O'Brien, he's still there. But this was the end of your dub. Yeah. Deceived by the pace that uh, Christian brought into that delivery, a lot slower. That's what he's good at, isn't it? But he tried to bowl seam up. And he paid the price. But that cameo of 20 has brought about a difference into this run chase. A little leg cutting slow ball, so he's a little mystery, mystery seamer, mystery spinner, whatever you want to call him. That was about a spinner's pace. But uh, he's so wily. You know, those years of, of tournaments in different conditions, it's just, you know, he's just a 
really a brain's trust of white ball cricket up there upstairs on target right at the stumps quick single shot Kevin O'Brien was miles out he didn't even bother grounding the bat Asela Gunaratna would have been very disappointed he had all the time he had all the time to have a go at the stumps but he's missed last ball coming up oh that's cut away that's gone that's a boundary to Kevin O'Brien he's been quiet for a while but he's come to the party he's moved on to 40 with a boundary it's 123 for four at the end of 72 deliveries One twenty three for four. Eighteen balls left. Over <laughs> and thirty one from eighteen. Thirty one from eighteen. It is very, very doable. And of course, Ireland's Kevin O'Brien is the key component here. Forty not out from twenty seven. But uh, Isuru Udana has a real Pandora's box of tricks under his sleeve. He's so experienced in this scenario. Every ball, and I've, uh, we've heard it said before, every ball is an event, H.D. Ackerman. The only thing for the strikers is that they've got Udana and Nuan Pradeep who've been exceptional for them throughout the tournament. It was just the one game where both were left out just to have a breather, and now they would surely be asked to bowl at least two of these last three overs, these last 18 balls. Oh, that sounded good. It sounded good! But what is that? Leru Tiramane with the misfield. What has he done? Well, I can hear Udana screaming from here. I don't mind you dropping my catches, but don't let the ball go for four. He's palmed it onto the boundary. Just help Karia. Lucky. Well bowled. Superbly delivered by Udana. What is it? I like the fact that he can come round the wicket. Keep going easy, keep going easy. Death overs. It's very comfortable coming round the wicket. His action is good. Look how upright that seam is. He's delivered impeccably for the Yorker. So no room, no room for the batter to be able to free his arms. 26 required from 16. That, that is Dan Christian. Kevin O'Brien with the, the... Just a little giveaway as to where Kevin O'Brien is from. Wearing those bright emerald green shoes of Ireland. There you go, big Kev. Very much into coaching these days in different parts of the world. He's with the, uh, the Italian cricket team. Assistant coach, batting coach. Good things he said are coming out of Italy. Oh, it's been drilled straight back at Udana. That was motoring. He's lucky, yeah. He could have broken a finger or a wrist because this is hit back powerfully. Ouch. Ludana's shoes are on fire, and I think his fingers might be on fire after that. He has uh, done lucky not to do himself any damage there. That was really hit hard. Oh, 
slow, slow bouncer. Yeah, wide called. That was a wide call by the umpire here. Is that a harsh call, HD? It's tight. Bearing in mind, it's got to be above head height from a standing position. O'Brien. O'Brien feels it was the right call. O'Donna feels it wasn't. Yeah, there you go. And when you see the side on slow mo replay, it looks like a wide. Old, the Yorker again, but somehow squeezed out with the angled bat. Over. You see how Udana is uh, honing in on that, those stumps at a Yorker length. The ball that's uh, just about hitting that front crease. Twenty-two required from thirteen. Yeah, this is going to be tight. We've had some tight finishes this week in the Legends Cricket Trophy. Match is going to the last ball, to the penultimate ball. Oh, that's been hit well. Gosh, that's a good hit. Oh, keep your eye on the ball, sir. What a good hit from Jasal Karia. One thirty-eight for four. So now that's the signal for the batting power play and uh, in the playing regulations for this 90 ball per innings contest this means for, for, for one over one over the batting power play means that no more than three fielders can field outside the inner ring so for Nuan Pradeep he's got uh, three fielders on that leg side fence his fine leg is up inside the circle and he's got a ring of fielders offside Kevin O'Brien goes over that offside. One bounce, four. It's a good hit from the Irishman. O'Brien could finish it in this over, you know. This is the deepest I've ever s I've seen in this competition. The uh, the batting power play taken, and I like their thinking, the Samp Army. I like what they've done here. Coming back for the second. That's really good running from Jasal Karia. He ran for his partner there. He called for it because he was running to the danger end, the, the closer. Look at Karia. He's almost half the pitch quicker than O'Brien. But that's brilliant running by Karia to make the second for Kevin O'Brien. Kevin O'Brien is on 48. Bold, magnificent bowling. Perfect Yorker on another day that's hitting the stumps. They only need to run a ball here. It's theirs to lose. Heroes are made in a day. And they need one of Nuan Pradeep or Udana to be that hero. You would think that Udana is going to be given four overs. He's going to be the bowler to be given four overs. He'll bowl the last. Will it get there? Ten required from nine. Yeah. Looks for the Yorker again. This is high quality fast bowling from Nuan Pradeep. 
He's delivering Yorkers. <coughs> Yuvraj Singh, the skipper, might well be yes, skippering in a losing contest here tonight. The unblemished record is about to have a blemish. Unless, just unless, the strangest things can happen. Wicket here, or two. Oh, yes, and gone. Gunaratna couldn't keep it in, and that will be six. It is six. Outstanding hit. How well has he hit this? How they hit these for six, I'll never know. I mean, to get the elevation from a ball that's that full. And just for a moment, Gunaratna thought he had held on to a screamer. There was a great effort by uh, Asela Gunaratna out there at deep backward square. Three required. Is that it or is it out? It's out. Alvero Peterson takes the catch at long on. He's on as a substitute fielder. UV looks a little, a little disconsolate, but it's another wicket. Full bunger. He would have hoped to have hit that out the ground. Instead, he finds Peterson, who's got a lovely pair of hands on him. Alvero Peterson. Disappointed carrier but I tell you what he's done the damage that was required 19 from 8 that's a good innings in the context of the match 151 for 5 Shukla, the fast bowler, the quickie, ran in fast, bowled fast today, bowled some uh, very probing, menacing deliveries. Kevin O'Brien is on strike, he's on 49, three required for the Candy Samp Army to win this match against the uh, tournament leaders, the New York strikers. Here's Isuru Udana, O'Brien 49. He'll get his 50. Kevin O'Brien, his half century and his second 50 in this tournament. Well played, Kevin O'Brien. He's kept them together tonight. Well, he's been there. That has been uh, a relaxed dugout for the Candy Samp Army. Yours. Just the dismissal again. In these short versions of the game, 19 of 8 is an incredible innings. Ordinarily, you would think 19 isn't, but it is in the old short ones. Yeah, I thought it was an outstanding knock from uh, Jisal Karia. So, Raul Shukla. Oh, top edge over the keeper. It will be two, and that will be the winning blow. Andy Sambami have won here tonight. They celebrate in the dugout and they can thank Ireland's Kevin O'Brien for steering them home with a very good injection of momentum from uh, Jasal Karia. Yuvraj Singh's New York strikers have tasted defeat for the first time in the Legends Cricket Trophy for 2024. An entertaining contest, runs, some quick bowling, some heat out there. We saw it from Tino Best earlier, but Kevin O'Brien finishes 50, not out, in a winning cause for the Candy Samp Army, who win by five wickets with four balls to spare. Well, the strikers thought they had enough. 
but they didn't account for Kevin O'Brien and the Samp Army batters. All of them making contributions. That was the key thing. Wickets never fell in clusters. There was always partnerships. And then they get there fairly comfortably. Yes, in the last over, but you always felt that O'Brien had it under control. Lovely innings from the Irishman. Yeah, 50 from 34. 50 not out. That's a strike rate of 147. Candy Samp Army with uh, their second win of the campaign. They beat the New York strikers, the superstar strikers, by five wickets. Well, uh, we're seeing contributions from different players, not just the big stars, but uh, different players like Giselle Caria came through there with that uh, those injection of runs for the 19. Kevin O'Brien, 50 not out. Yadav, 20 from nine from Rahul Yadav, who kept wicket and he kept well. Karia, 19 from eight. You see those two contributions there. 39 from just 17 balls. That swung it towards the Candy Samp Army, while Kevin O'Brien as well was maintaining the momentum from his end. 154 for five. Just good partnerships all the way through, really. 39, 32, 30, 33. That's the key in a run chase. You don't want to lose wickets in clumps. They didn't, hence the reason they get over the line. Well, the New York strikers bowling. Udana, none for 33 in 20 balls. New on Pradeep, two for 32 in 18 three overs. Rahul Sharma two for 26 in his three overs 18 balls Gunaratne none for 22 in two overs the Grand Homme none for six so it opened with uh, Kevin O'Brien who didn't think he was opening but Jonathan Fu was brought back by the umpires because he hadn't fielded the last seven or eight minutes and that's why Kevin O'Brien came on to open and it was a ploy that worked for the Candy Samp Army. He got them off to a, such a good start with Aaron Finch, the skipper. Nice, wonderfully clean strikers of the ball, but Finch was the first one to go. Beautifully held by the Grand Home on the deep mid-wicket boundary. And it was the turn of Stewart and he surprised many with his clean striking. He liked to go down the ground. He flirted with those outfielders on numerous occasions. But I tell you what, his innings was a valuable one as well. 23 from just 12 before Raul Sharma knocked him over. Raul Sharma, the uh, tall leg spinner who has represented India in the short ball format. Who came in, but there was no doubt about that. That was hitting middle stump halfway up. Meanwhile, Kevin O'Brien likes the offside. He favours the offside. And uh, Rahul Yadav, wicketkeeper bat, came in belligerent, strong, went down the ground. Great shot, except he found the fielder. Daniel Christian gave him a little send-off as well. Meanwhile, Kevin O'Brien, again, they couldn't contain him on that offside. And he was joined by Carrier, who certainly played his part as well. It wasn't just the Kevin O'Brien show. This palmed over by Gunnar Ratnet before a full toss was hit straight down the throat of Alviro Peterson and was left for Shukla to put the icing on the cake and give the Samp Army their victory. So the uh, summary of this match 11 in the Legends Cricket Trophy. New York Strikers 153 for 7. High class batting from Gunnar Atne. And Pufu picked up 3 for 33. And Tino Best bowled uh, so well for his 2 for 25. Shukla 2 for 27. Yuvraj Singh 17. I think he batted a bit too uh, late in the proceedings. Like to see him going up the order. Candy Samper Army 154 for 5. Four balls to spare. Kevin O'Brien 50 not out. But some telling contributions from Naveen Stewart, Raul Yadav, and Jess Alkaria. 
Valuable points, those, for Candy Samp Army. They've gone uh, up to four points and they uh, occupy fourth place. It's the top two teams who finish in the league table who will contest the final. New York Strikers are still leading with six points, but they've tasted their first defeat tonight. We'll be back shortly with the presentation. A win for the Candy Samp Army over the tournament leaders, the New York Superstar Strikers tonight. And uh, some very good performances by the Candy Samp Army. Let's go downstairs now and join uh, Roshan Abasinghe for the post-match presentation. Well, we've just seen a fantastic game of cricket and congratulations to Candy Samp Army winning by five wickets with four balls to spare. It was a wonderful game of cricket indeed. Hello and welcome to the post-match presentation of the Magic Win Sports Legends Cricket Trophy Season 2. Let me start off by thanking our partners, Arc Developers, Star Sports, Bally's Entertainment and Yeti. Let us start off with our awards. The first one is the Magic Win Sports Player of the Match, an award of US 500 and an N7 Real Estate goodie box. It will be presented by Mr. Shavain Sharma, who is the director LCT. And we also have Simrat Randava of Bollywood fame, who will give it away to Kevin O'Brien. Yeah, the next award is the Electric Wicket Award of US 500. will be presented by Ms. Kayati Sharma, the Procurement Head of Striker Sports and Entertainment. It goes to Christopher Empofu. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we got an award for the Maximum Sixers, which will also have 500 US dollars. will be presented by Mr. Ritesh Patel, the owner of Candy Swampami. You must be very happy, sir, with this win. And it goes to Asela Gunaratna. So that is the Maximum Sixers Award of US 500, which goes to Asela Gunaratna. And that concludes our presentation. So well done, uh, Kevin O'Brien. Uh, the uh, man of the match. Tomorrow we've got another double header here, the four o'clock match. Dubai Giants again pun against Punjab Royal, Delhi Devils against the Rajasthan Kings at seven o'clock. But for now, from Palakele, it's.
Wait and see. <laughs> 